August 18th. This is floss tube number 25. I'm Casey. And I'm Dara. And we're Southern California Stitching. We're going to start this video off with a big shout out to Debbie at Snug Harbor and Dave. Happy, Happy anniversary. anniversary. 39 years. I'm going to insert a little picture right here that Kep felt the need to share with us. I go, I think that's amazing. 39 years. You know, it's, it's unheard of. Um, <laughs> my husband and I are going on 16. So 39 years, it's a big deal. It um, is. My grandparents are 60. One. In December, they'll be 61. 61 years. So we talked about last week. So we have a big discussion going on our last week's video about smalls. And what is a small and what is appropriate for a small? We have a bunch of newbies, um, me included. We're all really nervous that we're not sewing good enough for you. So if you were my partner that ends up getting my item, like my heart I would, would be, hurt. Yeah, but my my idea is all stitchers know what goes into it. And that's how I responded. Um, I would think, you know, if, if you put in the effort and the time to make a small, you put in some effort and time. It's not like you can just slap a small together. Right. You know, and so no matter your skill level, it it's the love you put behind it. Right. You know, and if a stitcher's going to judge you because it's not the best in it's my mom's work, you know, then maybe we shouldn't Mine's have switched. It's not the best either. I try. But you've got years of experience. And me and a couple of these girls, you know. Because I'm ready for, you know, the rocking chair on the porch. <laughs> um, speaking of that, <laughs> little side story. So it's been really hot here, like really hot. And so at night, <laughs> in my pajamas, it's hot. But you got to wear something. So last night we were in town and they were selling nightgowns. <laughs> Never owned a nightgown. So I came out and my oldest daughter is like, looks at me and then she's, ah! <laughs> you know, doing this big laugh. And she was like, a nightgown, really? How old are you, mom? She <laughs> called me old. <laughs> First nightgown I've ever owned. <laughs> she didn't call me old and she seen me in my nightgown. She yeah. thought I looked good. You know, I never associated nightgowns with older people. They're not. I just thought it keeps you real good and cool. Slept the best I've slept in a couple nights. <laughs> anyway, I bought a nightgown. It's only been 106 here. It's like 90 at night. Anyhow, so yeah, speaking of being old on a rocking chair, <laughs> sit right next to you. <laughs> anyway, so um, what is a small? A small is an item that's small, you know, anything. We're not looking for a hade on a, you know, 14 by 24. Mom has a pie bowl for a little bit of, um, to show you guys just something that's considered a small. It's a little tiny pillow. It's maybe three and a half by two, maybe, like, ish. Anyway, that's a small. She also has yeah. a couple. I was in a Biscorn U exchanges. So they're in this pie dish as well. And they're also, but they're, they're a small. Um, so something just tiny that can fit in. Well, in this case, a pie dish. So mom has this actually sitting over here on her TV, a little, little pie dish that she had found. Um, that's a small. Also, um, on Snug Harbor's last week's video, they were discussing smalls because they apparently have had that same type of questions and stuff, and um, Christmas ornaments. That was right. originally, there was gonna be like two swaps, but then that got to be too much. Christmas ornament is considered a small. You know, so that would be another one. Um, yeah, so. You newbies, I'm right there with you. <laughs> um, next one, Stitcher's Paradise. They wanted to know how often you go, and next time you go, could we do a meetup? Yes. I go about once a quarter every three months about we three go. Months. Mm -hmm. um, we go about four times a year. I haven't been, <laughs> I've never been to Stitcher's Paradise. I've been to Vegas a couple times with Mom, but we never make it over there. Um, but maybe we can schedule something and do a, stitch, a sit and stitch in Nevada. I mean, I don't know if they offer that option at Stitcher's Paradise. I'm sure they do. They have chairs and stuff where you so, can sit. So. We'll have to look into that, and maybe next time Mom plans to go, if you guys are interested, let us know. Yeah. Um, next one is, oh, they want to know, how do you get all of that stuff done? Last week you were showing <laughs> quilts and, and knitting and crocheting and, and cross-stitching, <laughs> and and you work. And how do you, how do you do it all? Well, it, I have to be in the mood. And so... I just get in the mood for different things. I, and once I start something, I'm like, 
a dog with a bone. It's just go, go, <laughs> go, go till it gets done, usually. She also has this issue with becoming an assembly line. You know, <laughs> most people make one and done. Oh, mom makes ten. And it's like, what are you going to do with the other nine, mom? Oh, well, I'm going to give them away. And it's like, okay, so you just spent, you know, three months making that ten quilts or whatever. Never she, has she made ten quilts, but... You know, well, I've made you, 10 quilts, but not all Not like assembly line. No. You know, but now you're just going to hand them away? Yep. Okay, I'm telling you guys right now, if I wasn't in a smalls exchange, nobody's getting this small that I've been working on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've actually been working two simultaneously. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no clue, but I want to show you guys. I don't know which one I'm giving away. In fact, I have a third option out there that I haven't even worked on yet. Um, yeah, it's a hot mess. I got all into this small, uh, the 40 count, uh, linen. Listen, I said linen and I didn't even feel like I was cussing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like the 40 count. Yeah. Um, Lisa, your friend Lisa in Washington. Lisa Smith. Yeah. She's really into, to 40 count. It's kind of her thing. Anyway. All right. So then we wanted to, um, usually right about this point, we do a floss tubers to mention because one of us has had seen some new floss tube person out there. Um, I want to start with on the cross, no, common thread stitcher. Uh, one of the things was who is your favorite floss tuber? There was a whole riot app going on on Instagram. We all refused to write anything. I like all of them. I wanted to write my mom was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> but no, there you can't pick one. Like, no. I think that anybody, A, that is willing to put in the time to make these videos, you're my favorite. Yeah. Anybody who's willing to share their personal life, you're my favorite. Anybody who is actually getting something done to show weekly, you're, they're my hero. You're my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so like to say, you know, pick one. Um, mm -mm. No. So it's like this big mass exodus on <laughs> Instagram. There was no post. Like it was like, nope. Mm -mm. There's even a pi a picture of Pam from uh, Just Keep Swimming or Stitching. Stitching. <laughs> um, and she's like, mm -mm, don't make me. <laughs> I was like, yes, that's what I'm talking about because there's a lot of effort. Yeah. A lot of effort into these and to pick one. Well, I didn't pick one either. <laughs> okay, so back to the list. Here. Well. I like this one because of this, and this one because of this, and this one because of this. I mean, there's no way I could pick a favorite. No. I mean, I like watching certain ones because they do. Like on Hayes, yeah. you like to follow I like Hayes. to watch those. But I like to watch... Prairie Schooler, yes. that's another... Or Quakers. Uh, you know, yeah, I like, yeah, I like to watch people who do that to see what's coming out. And so, so it's one. really hard because if you ask me which floss tuber I like that does Hades. I could tell you. Right. I well, don't know if I could tell you that, too, because there's a lot that I watch yes. that like them. Yeah. You know, I and I like say. them equally. I mean, they each have something neat, you know. Anyway, so on Common Thread Stitcher, that one didn't work too well. <laughs> <laughs> it was really cool to see, though, that we're all the same. Like, right. mm, pick one. You can pick one. They're it's all. like telling you to pick your favorite kid. Oh, I could do that. <laughs> Sorry, Cliff. You drowned him. <laughs> Just depends on which one's with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, since I'm always here, I'm the winner. <laughs> Anyhow, so, okay. So instead of doing floss tubers to mention this week, because neither of us really had a whole lot of time watching floss tubes, right. um, one suggestion that I did see, um, Common Thread did um, Kia. Her name is Kia. I called her Kay last week. Her name is Kia. Um, Kia did an Instagram story and she suggested doing, um, go to Yahoo, excuse me, go to YouTube and type in floss tube with the number sign one and pick one, one that has been out for the first week, um, and watch them. I have been doing that for a while. That's where I'm getting all these new ones. That's how I meet them. Um, highly suggest you do that. Go find some of the new ones and see what they're all about. Um, I think that each channel brings something new to the game. So um, okay, so followers to mention this week instead of doing floss tubers. Right. We have a couple, um, just a handful, mom picked two, I picked two that we commonly see on our comments below or on our Instagram comments. And we just wanted to give you guys a little shout out. Um, so go ahead, mom. Paula Lima. Oh, hey, Paula. Yeah, hi, Paula. <laughs> and also Carolyn Hall. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. <laughs> She's always, those two are always sending positive and love your video and mm -hmm. just 
all kinds of good things to us. Okay, so my two is Mick Lamb, 2011. And um, she always comments, but she also has um, put comments out there that are very constructive. Right. Like you feel the love when she tells you your fire alarm's chirping. You know, like, <laughs> yes, yes it is. <laughs> um, I'm very thankful for those comments and anyone else that wants to give them. She also gives us love and praise every time we show something fun or something that she's working on. Right. She she comments about it. And then the other one is Sheila Burton. Yeah. Hi, Hi Sheila. Sheila. <laughs> so we wanted to do a quick little shout out to our followers because we enjoy your guys' comments. Like, And what, also, go ahead. what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> She's another one that's always. Yes. Leave some comments. We'd love that. We'd love to see what you have to say. Positive, negative, constructive, not so much. Any of them. We love them. Um, Just don't hurt my feelings. That's pretty hard. Well, it's true. I got I got pretty hurt about the thumbs up, then I got over it. Mom was like, thumb thumbs down. Oh, th no. Well, that too. <laughs> thumbs down. Um, Mom was like, yeah, get over yourself. That was her, like, poor little broken heart. And I was like, but Mom, it's a thumbs down. <laughs> yeah, I over. just figured that it was a grandkid that had been on <laughs> some nice. other thing, and we showed up, and the kid's like, I don't want to see that lady anymore. Thumbs, thumbs down. down. <laughs> um, okay, so... <clears throat> Those are followers to mention. Um, also, What Are You Doing is going to be carpooling with us all the way to Utah. And she's going to be our roommate. So, if you guys are into prayers, she might need one because this <laughs> is a whole lot for eight hours. <laughs> and it's 12 hours, not eight. <laughs> well, I was going to give her a couple breaks along the way. <laughs> anyway, um, we look forward to the um, Stitch West with Snug yes. Harbor. If you guys have not signed up and you still want to go, they have spots open. Um, they did mention that in their last video that there are a few spots open. If you're interested, um, we will be there. We should see if Candy O. Hey, Candy, fly down. <laughs> we'll pick you up in Salt Lake. She can drive. She's, she, she's about the same as us. But she can fly. Yeah, she can fly. We'll pick you up. Um, okay, so that was that. Um, Snug Harbor, we mentioned. There are still um, openings. Um, we talked about the smalls. Next thing, should we go with FFOs? I don't have any. Um, do you have any FOs? No. I do. <laughs> of course she does. Oh, it's not much. <laughs> it's less than 100 stitches for the whole thing. But here's the little acorns and flowers. Um, oh, that I got at the... Yeah, the lady had brought mom last week the box of stuff she doesn't want to take up to her new home. It was one of them that happened to be in it. And it's actually to cover an Altoids can. So this is on my, my thought of smalls. So if that tells you what kind of small I'm handing out, it's an Altoids can. <laughs> but that's not all. Well, no, but this is where I'm at with stitching. Like, I'm not giving, I don't even know how to do a hate, let alone give one away. Well, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not doing 14 by 18 right. hate. Well, that's not a small. No, but I wanted the people to see yeah. Altoid can. Everybody can relate to that size. That That's a small. You know, obviously I want to put a little goodie or two with it, but I'll tweak in. Um, okay, so that's my F. Oh, it's not okay. fully finished yet. All right, so then how about whips? What huh. you got? I got lots of whips. Show me your whips. I've only worked on two because I've been in a um, quilting class, the mm -hmm. free motion quilting class in Bakersfield. So I was doing that. Did you for like the it? last three, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, I learned how to do feathers, free motion on my sewing machine, and put bubbles in, and just so the all next kinds question of good stuff. is going to be, what kind of sewing machine do you have? Oh, I have a Husqvarna embroidery machine. It's um, Diamond Royal. I have one of those. Ruby. I have it's only two I know. <laughs> yeah. No, I have another one. Okay, so <clears throat> this one's a whip. What is this? this? This is hats off to Uncle Sam. I know that. Yes. She's going to look it up to see if I'm right. I'm, I'm going to show them. No. I'll, I will. You talk about it. Anyway, um, that right there is a pin cushion. And the pin cushion will go inside this. Mm -hmm. And I have, all I have to do is put this on it. And so, it will be done. So she, um, after last week's video, she distressed the hats. So let's get them up here so you guys can see them. Because they turned out so good distressed. I'll have to take a still shot. Yeah. And that way you guys can see them. But um, what's the wax you put on? Midwax. And so, a dark midwax. So she distressed them. 
and then put the dark mid wax on them. It makes them so much cuter, yeah. like much cuter. Not quite as dark as the picture, but they're so much cuter. Yeah. All right. So I worked on that. Okay. What else? You got and then that's not it. Oh, not that. That's that. And then I worked on my. Um, Long dog crossword puzzle. Yep, sorry. Ahead. Crossword puzzle. <laughs> so I don't know how we got that word out of this, but I'm sure that it makes sense. With my silks. Yep, silks, silks for, you. for you. That um, code is still out there if you're interested. It's 15% off. That's over at Leslie Hurley's yeah. Facebook. Go on over so, and check her out. I'm kind of depressed or bummed or whatever you want to say because. I was working on this today. We call that fetal position and crying. Please continue. And so what happened is I started to do this right here, go up, because I left that little hole and I was going up and it's like, this doesn't work out. I'm off a stitch. So I thought, oh, it'll be okay. So I came down here, here, I'm off a stitch. So all this from here to right here has to come out. It's off one stitch. That's where you guys all just cringe, like, oh. <coughs> so the frog is back in town. You can keep him, because so I've had him all weekend. I All I did is I finished this up and put some more lettering in, and I'm right in here. So, so yeah, you got some good progress, though, I even did. with taking that out. I did. That's going to hurt, but it's still good progress. And okay. that's well. it. <laughs> I was supposed to work on this with yes. Gary. Gary with Sunshine Stitchers is doing the Rosewood Manor Sal. Um, it started the 15th. Yeah. So if you guys want to join us, please do. And I'm going to do mine on 28 count fresco. Okay. And it's Lugana. And mom is doing the diamonds. So and there's mine. So I think we showed it last week. Mm -hmm. You just but didn't start it yet. Because I took that class and so. And it's not looking too promising for next week. I have to take my dad in to have cataracts removed off of one eye. So, so maybe might not get that done started next week either. That's okay. Okay, what else you got for whips? That's it. That's it. I'm done. Okay. So I have a couple whips. So my uh, acorns were a whip and a finish. And then... Do you have the pattern for that? It's a free pattern. Um, sapphire Mountain Hill. No, I don't. It's a chart. Can we show the chart? It's free on Sapphire Mountain. I think Instagram. if you show it back here, okay. but I, I don't think that they'll care. But I mean, it's free. You, you print it free. Right. This is the one that um, Deb, with Snug, Deb with Snug Harbor Crafts was making, and, and oh. it turned out so cute. Okay, so I'll hold it back here. But um, Deb at Snug Harbor does have a picture of it finished. Here is the pattern, um, and this is how far I. Ooh, let me put something behind that. So that's how far I've gotten. This is on a 40 count linen. Um, I love 40 count. It's really small, kind of not so easy on the eyes. However, that's where I'm at. Um, it's fun. It's like a fun, tiny one, right? If I didn't have my contacts on it, I could see it, but. Okay, well, it's pretty. Let me tell you. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> I can do 40 or 50 count. I just can't wear contacts. Oh, I'm not about to jump into 50 count yet. However, so, so. the. Um, Rosewood Gary. Manor Sal with Gary started on Wednesday or Thursday, the 15th, whatever the 15th was. And I was bummed. My package didn't come in. It was supposed to, but it didn't. And then it got delayed. And then it got here Saturday. But the kids needed haircuts. So I took the kids to get a haircut. But Saturday night when I got home, you guys didn't think I was going to just let it sit, right? I put in, can I do this? Hmm. I put in the corner, the arrow and the heart. That's as far as I got. I'm jazzed. Now this one, compared to the lemon one, this one goes super quick. You can probably shoot a dart at it and hit one of the holes. Well, like, it's 28 count. <laughs> so I'm going to have 28 count doubloon cash mill. Cash shell lemon. 28 count, count cash shell lemon. <laughs> cash shell <laughs> linen. linen. Um, and the color is doubloon. Yeah. So... This one though, I'm I'm serious about throwing a dart at the holes. It's it's got big holes. Um, it's fun and the um, threads. I understand the difference now. Like the thread is very soft and thick. Mm -hmm. I like it. I think that I can see myself and finishing this one. This is to bloom. 
in uh, Lugana. And look at the color difference. Definitely mine's darker. Yeah, this is 28 count de bloom in Lugana, and that one is in Cashel linen. If you're going for a darker harvest, which is what I'm doing, oh, I guess I'm supposed to show the pattern, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think I got it behind me. I do. So this one is Autumn Quaker by the Rosewood Manor. Um, it is definitely darker. Cashmere is darker. Okay. Maybe the dye? It's, it just takes dye different. Okay. Because well, it all starts out white. It's flickering again. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it bothers me. The light is like... Anyway. All right. So anyway, that's where I'm at. I'm excited. Join the Sal. If you have a Rosewood Manor pattern you'd like to work on and you want to join us, um, please do. They're giving a lot of tips and tricks on their um, the Sunshine Stitchers face or floss tube. He's doing a lot of tips and tricks. Like um, they were teaching us how to use your needle minder to hold the needles because this one is like two or three in the purple, one in the yellow, six in the blue. You're like unthreading and rethreading. It's a hot mess. Um, but today on Sunshine Stitcher, I watched it today. <laughs> Um, they talk about using your needle minder to clamp down your threads out of the way while you do different colors So you're like switching back and forth in colors That was new to me. So if you would like to join the sal, please go on over um, to Gay Ron on Facebook and that's where the sal is at and they also have it on their um, floss tube Okay What else? And that's the sunshine stitchers. Yes, sunshine stitchers. What else you got? Huh? Oh Besides the fabric? Just the fabric. Okay. Um, what are you going to work on next week? Well, I'm just going to get the frog out. Yeah, I'm going to do the frogging. And then I plan on working on the, um, the sow. Okay. Gary's sow. Just, right. I have a different one. Okay. Mine's the... Yours is the diamonds. The diamonds. Um, I will definitely be working on the sow. My plan is to do the sow maybe 10, 15 minutes a night in bed, right before bed. Instead of like, I don't know about most of you guys, but I do this on Facebook, on Instagram. That 10, 15 minutes before I go to bed, why not stitch? I'm going to try it anyway. Um, and then my other one, I'm going to leave it in the car. The, the 40 count lemonade one. Mm -hmm. Because I have time after work. And then between like soccer practice, while the kids are out at practice, I'm sitting in the car. Um, but my problem is I often forget my stitching. So I figured I'll just leave it in the car. And that be my car one. We'll see. We're going to try this. That's another question I had asked. If you guys have any suggestions on how to get a sal done. The sal doesn't have an end date. So it's not like, you know, take the pattern and quarter it because you need it done by December. No. Um, how do you do a sal? What do you do? Do you have like a way you work on a sal or you just try to work on it and that's it? No, because I have about five sals that are sitting over there in the, the bin. I think that's my uncle walking by the house right now. <laughs> He's got my lawnmower. I'm not going to lie. My uncle right now is so bummed. i got to talk about my uncle for a minute. Tomorrow the kids go back to school, which means the teachers do too. So, And my grandson was in here crying. I don't want to go to school. And my brother's sitting here and he goes, I know, buddy. I'm right with you. I said, please do not cry. So, <laughs> poor two were relating with each other. Yeah, so I told my uncle. If I have to hand out a SWAT in the morning because he doesn't want to get up, I'm calling his mama. <laughs> anyway, so on top of the prayer for what are you doing, maybe add my uncle to that list. He's going to have a rough day tomorrow. He teaches high school, right? When they think and they know junior high. Yeah, even worse. When their hormones are out of whack. Anyway, so he's going to have a big day tomorrow. Um, he's coming up to the end of his career. So he's pushing himself to finish them a couple years, but... Yeah. Um, it's going to be fun. So tomorrow the kids go to school. We have soccer. We have all the things. My yes. grandpa has his surgery on Friday. Ah! Right. <laughs> so we hope you guys all have a blessed week. Are you done? Is there anything else to say? Sorry. I'm just... <laughs> this is why I don't talk much. <laughs> so because she's just like, ning, 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 ning. You guys watch our Instagram. <laughs> She less, had a little bit too much Tuesday. coffee. I, I drink coffee, don't get me wrong, but I never take a second round of coffee, ever. It's one cup, we're done, because it doesn't work. Well, my boss sponsored something. I, I don't even know what it was. But, man, I got on Instagram on Tuesday or Wednesday, and I was just like... 
<laughs> I watched it afterwards and I thought, oh, these poor ladies. Well, welcome. <laughs> yeah. One too many um, caffeine Ex beans. Some sort of espresso. <laughs> I'm not even sure. Anyway, well, if you got nothing else, got nothing else. Okay, we hope you guys have a blessed week. Um, we will see you again next. Yes. Bye. Bye.